Hello, I'm Sandra Irwin Gowran from Glen, and I'm chair of the organising committee for the Dublin 2012 ILGA Europe Conference bid. I hope this short video will encourage you to vote for Dublin for 2012. Dublin is a vibrant city of culture, home to a rich past, home to brilliant writers such as Oscar Wilde and James Joyce, and now home to dynamic and diverse people from all corners of the world. Dublin would be honoured to host the ILGA Europe Annual Conference in 2012. There has been enormous progress for lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender people in Ireland over the last 17 years. Homosexuality was decriminalised in 1993 by our then Minister for Justice, Maury Gagan Quinn, who is now our European Commissioner. Ireland is one of the first countries in Europe to bring in full protection on sexual orientation, both in the areas of employment and in goods and services. Ireland was instrumental in including sexual orientation in the EU's Amsterdam Treaty. Now, our government is working on legislation for gender recognition for transgender people. This year, Ireland joined with many other EU member states in bringing forward comprehensive civil partnership based on marriage for same-sex couples. This bill was passed with an overwhelming majority in Parliament. This major civil rights reform is a critically important milestone on the road to equality for same-sex couples. We have come a long way in a short time. We now have a strong, dynamic LGBT community in Ireland. This year, an unprecedented number of people took part in the Dublin Pride Parade, welcomed by the Lord Mayor and cheered on by the people of Dublin. We believe the time is right for Dublin to host the annual ILGA Europe Conference. Dublin has a lot to offer ILGA Conference participants. The Irish Government is supporting the bid and have offered Dublin Castle, the home of European Council meetings in Dublin, as a conference venue. The castle, which is in the heart of the most ancient part of Dublin, offers all the facilities needed for a successful conference. Dublin boasts a wide range of hotels near the proposed conference venue. Not to mention our shopping areas, all within walking distance of each other. We are famed for our hospitality and we love nothing more than to welcome visitors to our community. You'll have the opportunity to visit the home of Guinness and we love nothing more than to welcome visitors to our city. You will find something of every taste from bars and restaurants cultural events and entertainment everywhere you go. For those of you who like things at a slower pace, there is wonderful countryside within a short distance of the city. Ireland is renowned for its beautiful landscapes, and after a hard-working conference, there is nothing better to get away from the energetic city than to spend a bit of time in those wide open spaces. Dublin and its LGBT communities are waiting to welcome you to our city. Ireland is also waiting to show you a wonderful time. Welcome, welcome to, to Dublin. Dublin.